Dear children, welcome once again to our channel Homeschool and this time we have come up with a new topic that is Revolution of the Earth. This topic is related to our previous video and I hope you already have watched it. In case if you haven't, the link is given below in the description. So children, come let's know about this topic. We experience different seasons throughout a year, which are summer, winter, autumn and spring. But the question is, what causes the seasons that comes every year? Well, it happens because of two reasons. That is, because of the revolution of the earth and because of the earth's tilted axis. Now, another question arises here that what is revolution and what is the tilted axis of the earth. Well, we know that the earth keeps moving on its own axis which causes day and night. The earth also keeps moving in an imaginary path around the sun. And this movement of the earth around the sun is called a revolution of the earth. Now, do you know how much time the earth needs to complete a revolution? That is, 365 and 6 hours. Now look at this. The earth moves in a tilted position and not exactly upright. And so the imaginary line in the middle of the earth which is called the earth's axis is also tilted. Therefore the earth moves along with its tilted axis. And this is another reason behind the occurrence of different seasons. But the question is, how does it happen? So children, come, let's know about it more closely. The earth travels around the sun changing its position in different months of a year. Let's see at this position of the earth. If we divide the earth into two equal halves, we can see that the sunlight is falling majorly on the lower part of the earth that is in the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere is receiving lesser amount of sunlight as it is tilted away from the sun. As a result, the southern hemisphere which is receiving maximum sunlight enjoys summer season while the northern hemisphere which is colder due to less amount of sunlight experiences winter season. Six months later, the position of the earth becomes opposite and the northern hemisphere is leaning more towards the sunlight now and so receives maximum light and heat and thus enjoys summer season while the southern hemisphere which is tilted away from the sun is receiving lesser amount of sunlight making it colder and therefore experiences winter season. Similarly, autumn and spring also occurs due to the earth's different angles of facing the sun. Both in the autumn and spring season, the sunlight falls evenly on the earth, resulting a cool temperature in autumn and a warm temperature and sometimes rainy in spring season. So children, in this video, we have shown you majorly about how summer season and winter season causes in both the hemispheres. In our next video, we will learn very clearly about the autumn and the spring season. Thank you for watching our video. We hope this session was understandable for you. If yes, please let us know by hitting the like button and by putting your valuable comments. You can also share it with your friends and most importantly, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get such more new videos.